Let's add rubrics to your assignments. This is a really, really easy way to improve your grading and it makes your expectations super clear for your students. I'm Angie. Let's add a rubric to this assignment. I'm going to go ahead and click on the assignment and I don't need to click edit. I just want to scroll down from this view and I'm going to look for that plus rubric button at the very bottom. I'm going to click on this and then it's going to let you name it. I always just leave mine some rubric, but you could definitely name it and then you can start to add in some some criteria. I like to break these down into the questions that I'm asking for my students. So I've got a part A, a step one, and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and start by just editing this very first one. I'm going to click this pencil and it says, what do you want to call this one? Well, this is going to be part A number one, and that's going to be um, your hypotheses. You can also add more details here and then update the criteria. Now it wants to know how many points is this particular question worth. You can always go back and change it to make all your points work out great. I'm going to change this to two points. And notice this plus button in the middle. This allows you to add in some partial credit boxes. So if I go ahead and hit enter here so that it changes to two, I can hit that plus button and I can give a score in the middle and this would be um, partially correct. And then I can uh, click on update rating. Okay, let's go ahead and do the next one. To add your next criterion, you're gonna click that plus criterion button, and then you wanna click on new criterion, or you can duplicate your previous one. Uh, this is gonna be, I had part A and then number two, and that's gonna be your critical value. Okay, so create criterion. Let's say that I do wanna leave this one as five points, and I wanna add some partial credit here in the middle. You can do three, you can change this to four, you can change this to two. You could even add a box for all of those values in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and make this one a three, and I'm gonna say um, mostly correct. However you want to do that one, but notice you've got the plus buttons again, so you could add even something in the middle. And then one, I could say, you know, you have the correct sign, but not the correct number or something like that. Update rating. Okay, so you'll notice that there's a running total over here on the right hand side. I want this to be, say, a 20 point assignment. So as I continue to add criteria, I can go back and adjust these points so that I end up with exactly the number of points that I want. So once you've got it how you want it, go ahead and scroll down to these options. You can write free form comments when assessing students. That means the comments will be inside of the rubric. I tend just to put my comments at the very, very end or directly onto my students' work. Take a look at my video down below on how to grade in Canvas with some great tips for that. I do though want to use this rubric for assignment grading. That way, whatever it totals, I will end up with that as my student's grade. Now I'm ready to click on update rubric and it says your total points don't match the points in the rubric. You can either change the total points or you can leave these different. I'm gonna go ahead and change it so that those two totals match. Now, when I go to grade this one, I'm gonna be able just to click through each of the values in my rubric and then leave any other comments that I choose to leave. You can also add rubrics to discussion boards. I've got one here. The process is just a tiny bit different. So in this discussion board, I'm going to not click edit. I'm not gonna scroll down. Instead, I'm gonna click on these three dots in the upper right hand corner, and I'm gonna choose add rubric. It brings up, let me click on add rubric. It brings up this pop-up that gives me the same options that we saw before with our assignments. I hope you enjoy rubrics. I know for me, it's made my grading so much quicker and I think more meaningful for my students as well. You got this.